Carlos Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip, and welcome to some more Tesla news. Pretty exciting times. They released track mode for the Model 3 performance with or without the performance package. So that's really cool. They, they tweeted out some videos of it just hauling around the track. A guy went and did a race with it and got disqualified uh, because he won first place in his class, kind of, except for they disqualified him for using a non-approved fuel, which is electricity, which is ridiculous. What do you guys think about that? You know, disqualifying an electric car because of the fuel. What if he used a generator to power that Tesla? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know, that's just kind of ridiculous. Sore, sore losers, I guess. So the Model S and the Model X price changed over the weekend. Uh, they're trying to simplify their configuration utility, so there's not as many options. Basically, they ended up including things like the premium leather interior. They, they got rid of some stuff, though. On the Model S, they got rid of, rid of the rear-facing seats, which is kind of a drag. I thought those were really cool. But they're now recommending people just get a Model X instead. If you need to haul that many people, because their 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 functionality is very limited. I mean, you can only use it for kids between like three and six years old, and there's no ventilation back there, so it only works for short trips. I had it in my Model S. I thought it was cool. And also getting rid of, rid of the panel roof the, that opens up. I mean, it's really cool. It's the only option that you could get for a sunroof in a Tesla, but. You know, there was a lot of problems with it, with noise when I had mine, it had to be fixed a lot. And it was always free, but it was a hassle, you'd get like wind noise or it'd squeak, and it happens with uh, a lot of the loaners that I had too. So I can see them taking it off the menu, maybe redesigning it, and maybe adding it in again, like they've done with the ventilated seats. So my ventilated seats in my Model X are wearing out, and I'm at 65,000 miles. So the passenger side, right on the higher end of it, where you get in and out, it's starting to kind of fray a little bit. And on the new ones, because they, they took it away for about a year, the ventilated seats, that portion of it is no longer ventilated. So like the very edges where there's a lot of friction from um, passing over it when you get in and out of the car, it's no longer ventilated, it's solid, which makes sense so that it won't wear out as quickly. The cost, I think they told me was $3,500 to get a new seat, that part portion of the seat. And they said I should look into going and getting it fixed by somebody that can repair it, a uh, upholstery person. And they, they think that'd be significantly cheaper. <laughs> and it doesn't look bad, and from a distance you can't even tell. But, you know, it's, it's a really expensive car, and it looks pretty much brand new in every other way. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky, but I can see why they redesigned it. And, uh, yeah, if I wasn't out of my 50 mile base warranty, I might push getting it fixed. But anywho, <laughs> yeah, so things changed a little bit. Uh, if you're looking at getting a new Tesla, you can use my code. You'll get free supercharging for six months. And this goes on any Tesla, even the medium range Model 3, which is pretty cool because you couldn't use it, those codes before on the Model 3s, but now you can. And then some, some more serious news, Tesla has been helping with transporting people over in California where the where the wildfires are happening, trying to get people to where there's better air quality using Model S and X's that are equipped with the bioweapon defense mode, which takes out 99% of all air pollutants and it makes breathing much easier in those situations. So Elon authorized employees to go out, get people, not charge them anything, and take them away from where it's not safe. I think that's really cool. Teslas are very unique in that way, that they have this huge air filter in them. What do you guys think about that? That's that's <laughs> that's pretty cool, really, that they can do that with the Teslas. Speaking of cool things that the Teslas can do is just being very safe. There's this picture I wanted to show you guys of Model X in Colorado that rolled down a ravine, and it is just, it doesn't look very good, but... The people survived, and they think that if they hadn't been in a Tesla, they wouldn't have. It just goes to show you how well the Teslas are designed to, to keep the occupants as safe as possible. I mean, the front and back end crumpled all up like crazy. And then even though it's made out of glass, it seemed to hold together really well, like in terms of the, the roof of the Model X. It looks just like my Model X. That's what kind of caught my eye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you if you like this show. You can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. You can email me. I'm pat.lawson at Wild West EV. 
Uh, if you want to help out with getting charging stations in remote locations, wildwestev.com, you can help sponsor a station for just a few bucks. We'll, you, can, you can help us get more stations out there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye.